Hey, what's up? It's your girl Kiki, and yes, I know y'all see this color. And excuse the background, I'm I am in my bathroom, so you're gonna hear a lot of echoing. But I wanted to come and show you guys how it turned out. Yes, as you can see, real pretty. Yeah. I like it. I mean, I feel like it's kind of suiting me. I have to get a little used to it, but it doesn't really take me that long sometimes. Just depends, I guess. But anyway, this is kind of a quick how-to video. And as I showed you guys in the previous video, this hair came with a free invisible part. As you can see, I don't really know the inches on the invisible part, but I do know the inches of the hair that I put in. And actually, I showed you guys three packs. 14, 16, and an 18. I only used the 18 and the 16. Crazy. I have one full pack of this same color hair. Burgundy red. That's the name of it. But I'm using the um the free invisible part out of the 18 inch pack. This one isn't 18 inch. Definitely not. I don't think so. I haven't measured it myself. But anyway, as you can see, that's what it looks like. It has the little lace on it i don't i'm not really gonna cut the lace off actually and no i'm not sewing mine down i'm gluing mine down i don't really have a problem with glue only issue that i do is when it's time to take all of this out and i'm combing it out other than that then some shampoo or conditioner won't get out but yes i just wanted to come and show you guys and yes i'm doing a invisible part as you can see i use my um nude pink lip liner so i could catch where my part is you see i got a little glue there but you wouldn't be able to you're not going to be able to see all that but what is basically gonna do, what i'm basically going to do is well what you're going to need is of course your hair got to be laid and you're going to need of course your free invisible part as you can see it's this long and you know basically what you're going to do is close it like this on your head let me show you real quick remember keep in mind this lace part is the part that lays flat down on your head. Basically, it's gonna go like this. As you can see, right here is how it um how it rounds out. I have that little lump there. Well, not a major lump, but how it rounds out. It, you know, it's gonna fit perfectly to where it look like it's growing out of your scalp. I mean, of course not now because I haven't cut it yet. But yeah, you're gonna need this, a pair of good scissors, and. If you want to sew it down and there's you do your thing, you know, you're going to need two anchor braids. But if you're like me and you're using the glue, you don't have a problem with it, you're going to need some glue. I always use the Salon Pro 32nd. And um, right now, if you guys see me keep looking down, I'm using my little mirror right here. And yes, I'm in the bathroom. Why am I not using the big one? Because I got my little setup going on right here, as you can see. <laughs> So ghetto, but it's working for me. But yes, I know you can't see my full body, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. This will be kind of a long video, so if you don't want to stick around, you might as well leave now. Or if you, you can fast forward to the completion of it, then lay down. But this is going to be a long video because I'm going to talk through it and show you guys how I do my part. Everybody does theirs different. I'm just going to show you guys how I do mine. And how I do mine is how I like it. So let's get started. Now, I like to uh, usually use my blow dryer, but I don't have a socket in my bathroom. Crazy shit, ain't it? And you're going to get started on that. But yeah, I usually like to, when I lay it down, I like to blow dry it and, you know, let it dry. But I'm not going to do that. And plus, I wanted to show you guys. As you can see, it's a beautiful burgundy red. It's coming up lighter on the phone. It's actually a little darker. But, oh well, I'm pulling it off. I got to get used to it, like I said. But what you're going to do is take your scissors and turn them sideways like this. If you see what I mean, sideways. Do not do this. That's a no-go. That don't even make sense to do it like that. But turn them sideways and open them up. And what you basically know is I'm not hurting myself. I'm not stabbing myself. It just looks like that. <laughs> what you're going to do is take this part right here and turn it sideways like this. And make sure, please, I'm kind of anal with measurement a little. 
But what you're going to do is put it up under there. As you can see, it's already cutting in a little bit. You got to kind of do it with a little finesse. And pull it up like that so you're not really hurting yourself, scraping your hair, or nipping at your hair. As you can see, you can, you know, I'm measuring it up where I put the new lip liner. So basically what you're going to do is go all the way, you know, as far as you can. Then turn it sideways like this. And cut along the line as much as you can. Sometimes I have to poke, like now I have to poke a hole like that, as you can see, and just cut from there. As you can see, it's already coming out the way. Now this little part you see where little bits of the um of the uh, stocking cap is showing, I'll go back and snip that part. So that's not really something I really worrying about right about now. I just want to get to this part here. There you go. Sometimes I have to go back and measure, make sure, you know, because I would, you don't really have to make a closure like I usually would do ever since this, I got a, got one of these free invisible parts. I don't really make an, um, a closure anymore. I don't see the need to as you can see, it's going to look like that. Okay, I'm going to just cut a little bit more. So forgive me if I'm moving a little slow or talking too fast. But yeah, let me go on and cut this little part. And this is just a quick do, you know, until I can get to the salon, which I plan on doing real soon. When? I'm not too sure. But yeah, you guys know I'm a huge fan of this Diaz, Zori Diaz Remy hair, Remy handmade fiber hair. Now, I'm going to just go back and snip these little parts here. As you can see, that can be a little hard because, you know, I glued this down and it can be a little hard to kind of pick it up. But as you can see, I'm getting there. Sometimes, try, I be being lazy and don't feel like doing it. I just stuff it. As you can, I can just do it like this. Stuff it in there. <laughs> I ain't gonna be lazy. I'm gonna um, cut it because I'm hanging out with the girls tonight. I'm gonna turn up, okay? But yes. You know what? I might be lazy. I'm just stuff it because I'm being a bum right now. I feel like it. This video already gonna be long, so let's just go with the stuff and style. Plus, I can always take this off and go back and cut the little pieces. Whatever. Excuse the knocking. You know, Makai is at the door. This mom gets no break. But yes, like I told you, got a little angle with this measurement. So I always, I do this like two or three times just so I can get it right. What you do is you lay it long like this so you can get one side right. And take two fingers or one like this. And then turn it this way. Please excuse the screaming. Y'all know how it is. Couldn't wait till he fall asleep because he just got up from a nap and that is not going to happen. But yeah, here it is. Mm. It looks good enough for me. I'll go back and tweak it once I lay it down already. Well, you know, I might have to cut a little bit of this lace. I know I said I wasn't, but this one's kind of thick. So I'm going to just cut off the tail of it. That's it. Everything else is going to keep, as you can see. I'm just cutting off the back part. I usually don't do that, but it's kind of thick. Too thick in it. Sticking up. I won't need that. Mm -mm. Yeah. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, since this is red hair, I don't want the black glue to see through or show. So I'm not really going to be laying it on thick like I probably usually would. <laughs> I'm a little heavy handed, so shit be happening. But yeah, what you're going to do, you can lay this flat on the surface and do the glue. But I usually do this when I get to the end and hold it in my hand. Get your glue ready. Shake mine so it all go to the bottom because this thing is about gone. As you can see, 
I'm putting dots. Don't down like that because then this is red hair. You do not. And I repeat, you do not want the black glue seeping through the red hair. That's just going to look ghetto. Just only doing a few dots. And I feel secure with it. It doesn't really come off. And if I'm feeling like, yo, this is going to fly off, then I get a couple of bobby pins, you know, and do my thing. Yeah, this glue is running out, child. I'm just going to have to work with what I got. There you go. Okay. Excuse that. This glue is acting funny. It want to break down on me as soon as I get to the last part. Don't you hate that? <sighs> yeah, child. Try not to put the glue on the lace part because, you know, the glue will seep through. And like I said, you know, already, you don't want the black glue seeping through red hair because it's really going to show. And then you can always go back and clean it off, but it'll be kind of hard. So why not prevent that if you can? Okay, let's get ready to lay this bad boy down. There you go. Try to get it as close as possible if you can. If not, you can always, you know, go back and fix it or whatnot. As you can see, these two end pieces have to match up, ladies and dudes. Mm. See, I'm right now pushing down on it, basically, to get it all together. And you can see, there we go. Now I'm gonna go back and tweak it a little, get it looking a little more realistic. But yeah, there you go. As you can see, that and back to the part where I was talking about the little oh, I got hair everywhere. Where I was talking about the little bump here. That's what it is. It makes it look so realistic. As you can see, there it goes. Looks great. I mean, I may have to go back and fix it a little. But yeah. I wish I could show you guys the length, but try to I'm gonna stand on this tub and fall and bust my behind for you. But yep, this is it. I like it. And here's the part. Let me give you a close-up. Now I am gonna go back and do a little tweaking on it, but I just want to give you guys a glance of it. As you can see. I'm going to probably pull it a little closer together. Yeah, see those lace part? That's what I was talking about. But that's nothing a brush can't fix. You know, a comb. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go back and push it together a little more. But yeah, as you guys can see. So here. Thank you guys for watching. And I know this is like a crazy long video. But thanks for sticking with me, and I will get you in the next video. Right now, I'm going to go back and tweak this part and get to some cutting and some curling. Deuces.